What's up guys? Today's episode of Equals 3 features Harry Beast and your favorite big wet bitches. Before Ray William Johnson's YouTube channel Equals 3 earned 3 billion views and 10.6 million subscribers making it one of the most viewed channels on YouTube. Before Ray had celebrities including the late Robin Williams, Snoop Dogg and Key and Peele as guests on his show. All of a sudden the squirrel goes, yeah, you can do it! And you know that squirrel goes back to the other squirrels going, listen, I just saw these two really stone guys and I don't know why but I'm hungry right now. Before RWJ became the first YouTuber to earn over a million dollars on the platform. Before Ray William Johnson made his live action acting debut in the indie road film Who's Driving Doug alongside former Breaking Bad star RJ Might. The longer you focus on trying to be normal, the longer it's going to take you to realize that nobody's normal. Before Ray decided to quit his own show. My name is Ray Johnson and I'm an actor. And this is Equals 3. It's a show I started five years ago from my college dorm room. And this is my last episode. Don't get too worried, that didn't really work out. Now Ray William Johnson, he was walked out on by his drug addict father at a young age. His mother and grandparents, they raised him through financial troubles. And uh, well, he turned to comedy and comic books to let his imagination run wild. He developed his writing abilities early on, penning his own movie scripts in high school. Literally, he couldn't afford a computer, so he wrote that baby by hand. He was working through school as a server and managed to save up money to pursue his education further in law school, but then a forged signature by his biological father would leave his account penniless. Crazy, I know. One of the most iconic players in the YouTube game may have once served you some burger and fries. What's going on guys, my name is Michael McCredden and welcome to Before They're Famous, documenting the life and career of Ray William Johnson, here for you on Before They're Famous. Now you guys requested this video, as always be sure to let me know in the comments down below who you want to hear about next. And that contest we have running for you guys for finding me on Instagram, well we're going to announce the winner shortly, I'm thinking, uh, yeah, in the next video I do on a YouTuber. <sighs> I did all that in one take. Johnson was born on August 14, 1981 in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. His family struggled with money and he was raised on food stamps and free lunches. His father was an addict and left the family when he was only one year young. He was then raised by his mother and his grandparents. And well, the young guy, he never aspired to get into comedy or acting, but he did enjoy comic books. He would read every comic he could get his hands on, hence, you know, the set in the show. Now, not only did I read every single comic I could get my hands on, but I would actually write and illustrate my own. And I had a very active imagination. He also enjoyed watching comedians, and his favorite was Eddie Murphy's Raw. He watched that so often as a kid, he can almost recite the entire thing. And it's like two hours of content, so it's pretty impressive. If you sit in the house one day, it was Saturday morning to watch a cartoon with your father make a fight and go, that wasn't me, that was your mother. <laughs> that was your mother, that was, ooh, baby, baby, I want a divorce, baby. Ooh. <laughs> Ray attended Norman North Heights School where he continued his writing but progressed to making scripts and short stories. Because his family couldn't afford a computer, he actually wrote them all by hand. <sighs> yeah, that's a lot. Like this guy. His name is Fixter. He's a commander in one of Earth's last battalions. But all he really wants is to be part of a human family. And his story goes on and on. When he was 17, his biological father forged his signature and withdrew the money from his bank account that he had been saving up for university. So he attended a junior college first and worked waiting tables. He eventually attended Columbia University on a partial scholarship and some money, well, he got from his grandmother. That bitch! Now don't go getting all upset like how could he borrow from his grandma? Remember, this is the guy who made the first million on YouTube, so Granny got back pay and then some. He was studying to become a lawyer and it was during his studies that he started watching YouTube bloggers. And well, he thought it looked like a whole lot of fun. So wow, this YouTube thing, <laughs> it's pretty addicting. <laughs> he started making videos in his dorm room that were initially talking about his life on a now deleted channel. These early videos earned for him a small following and were getting a few thousand views. But then the man had a light bulb go off above his head. What if he introduced a structured format on the YouTube platform? Mm, yeah, sounds like a good idea. <coughs> Before they're famous. What? Sure, nowadays there are hundreds and thousands of web series and sitcom style regular episodes on YouTube, but back in the day, people were just blogging and uh, not getting too creative. Ah! <laughs> 
I suppose there were a lot of people taking videos of their cats, and that still exists today. Oh, the internet, you never change. Well, Ray took this novel idea and created his second channel, Ray William Johnson, in April 2009. And this was where he birthed the Equals 3 series, and it featured Ray adding commentary and jokes to viral videos. Ugh, you know when your first kiss makes your dad facepalm himself? You know you're doing something wrong. At this point he didn't really have fancy equipment, but he made do with a camcorder his friend lent him and started filming in his dorm room. In just two years the channel became YouTube's first ever to reach 5 million subscribers. That's massive. Then the channel attained nearly 2 billion views and Ray would then partner with Maker Studios for his next project, an animated band series called Your Favorite Martians. I hate on traffic just as much as the next guy. I try and bypass them if these bastards would just drive. It was only one year after signing with Maker Studios that Johnson announced he would be leaving, saying they had pressured him into signing a new contract that would reportedly take 40% of the earnings from the series. The contract also would have required Johnson to give up 50% of the intellectual property rights to the show. And his animated web project, Your Favorite Martians, well, it was close to home. So he didn't sign that paper. Yeah, this is actually something that is still happening pretty common for new YouTubers. So uh, kids, be careful. And good on ya, RWJ, for walking away. He is a man of the people. A month after making the move in November of 2012, Johnson founded his own production studio, Equals 3 Studios, and continued producing Equal 3 and Your Favorite Martian. But eventually the animated show, well it would just take up so much time, cause those things, well it's high production. And it would. So eventually he just wrapped it up. But he did put out an album of songs featured on the show, and that thing sold over a million copies. Boom! Granny got a new pair of shoes, you know what I mean? I am damn lovable. <laughs> His Equals 3 show then went on to be one of the most highly viewed and acclaimed series on YouTube, landing an incredible roster of celebrity guest hosts such as Robin Williams, Sarah Silverman, Bobby Lee, Kevin Smith, Rizza, and Snoop Dogg, just to name a few. Yeah, for those guys who only watch my Before They Were Famous on Rappers, we're talking about Rizza. So, yeah, this one's for you too, kinda. Damn, this video reminds me of Russian women. One minute, everything's fine, right? And then the next, psh, a total fing wreck. In December of 2013, Johnson announced that he would be ending Equals 3 to focus on other projects. His last show as host was titled Thank You for Everything. It was published on March 12, 2014. And he went over the impressive list of celebrity hosts that he had had on a show, in case anyone had forgot. At the time he left the channel, he had over 2 million subscribers and 2.6 billion total views. That takes a lot of guts to walk away from. I ain't giving Azzy this channel for nothing. <laughs> Briefly, Robbie Motz, he filled in as the new host, but after a year or so, he released a very sincere thank you video as he departed. July 24th will be my final day as host of Equals 3. Why did he leave? Well, you kids in the comment section can be awfully me. And, uh, well, those were some big shoes to fill. As for the rest of the story, well, you know the story because this is Before They Were Famous. My name is Mike McCrud. Thanks for checking out my personal channel. I do all sorts of celebrity bios on here. I've done a whole bunch of YouTubers. Philip DeFranco, we just got him done. But there's PewDiePie, and there's Grade A, Under A, and FouseyTube. That one's actually one of my favorites. I've done epic rap battles in history. I've done Smosh. I've done epic mealtime. So browse around. There's definitely something for everyone. And Gigi Gorgeous. She's gorgeous. So maybe you should watch that one. Anyway, guys, let me know in the comments down below who you want to hear about next and that contest we announced. I'm gonna give you guys a winner very soon. I'm thinking in like five days or in five videos. But uh, stay tuned. All right, see you in another video. Boom. Get the hell out of here. God damn you.